Hello and welcome back to Space Engine. Uh, we are just flying around uh, at around planet Earth right now, and uh, the big topic of discussion was uh, the fact that I didn't know how to control uh, myself going around in space last time because I was in the, the spacecraft mode and I was stuck in a, an acceleration, but I now know that you can go into free mode, so we should have a lot better of a time uh, flying around, so I kind of just want to explore around. It's like, I kind of just, like, the first video of this was me just kind of going like, holy shit, I can fly around and I can go to any of these dots in space, but I want to actually check out some, uh, what you can actually see in this game, so why not start off at planet Earth? Earth looks really nice, like, even just from a distance uh, in this game. It's like, completely upside down, so where's the moon? This is the Earth-Moon system, so the moon should be somewhere close by around here, unless it's, like, on the other side. There's the moon right there. Very tiny in the sky. See, uh, you, when you see models growing up as a as a kid, you always think like, "Oh, the moon's actually fairly close," but the moon is actually very far from the Earth, uh, and that's because um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the moon was a lot closer to the Earth uh, billions of years ago. But what, due to tidal forces, the moon is actually moving. Uh, it's spiraling outwards, like it's actually moving away from the planet very, very slowly by like maybe one or two centimeters per year. One or two centimeters. So eventually, eventually I think the moon will have deorbit itself. <laughs> I guess that maybe that explains why it's so far out. All right, approaching on Mars. And we're gonna land on Mars. We're gonna do what Elon Musk always wanted to do. And we're gonna do it before him. And he's gonna be jealous and he's gonna be tweeting at me going like, yo, what the fuck? I have this whole company and you just sit here and you land on Mars and you think you're so cool. I mean right click, there we go, land on object, there we go, it's that easy, you just, you just have the right click Mars. And we landed on a gray spot, that's exciting. Can we go to a red spot? Because that's what the color of Mars is, there we go, red spot. Aha, we missed and we're gonna go land on a red spot. I would suck to have the first images of like people on Mars and they're in one of those gray spots. It's like, that doesn't look like Mars, that's not what we expected. Polar ice caps right there too. So Elon Musk wants to explode those. He wants to, or at least that's one of his like fun ideas. Is the the fast way to terraform Mars would be to take nukes, just to nuke the poles of Mars, and then you make the frozen water or frozen carbon. Actually, I'm not sure. Is that frozen? Is that dry ice? It might be a combination of like dry ice and uh, and water. But the point is, is like to flood Mars and also to give it you know, a lot of atmosphere as well, like, at the very least, at the very least, like, I think, I think the first step would just to be, just to get gas in the air on Mars and have an atmosphere, that way you can not have to worry about atmospheric pressure, and then you can be, just at the very least, wear a gas mask with an oxygen tank. It's really, the dangerous thing is not really, it's not so much the fact that you can't have breathable air, because it, even if you have CO2 in the air, uh, the way chemistry works, or uh, carbon dioxide, it's like, it's one carbon atom, and I think two oxygen atoms. You already have oxygen atoms in, uh, CO2. And breathable oxygen is just O2. So you just strip the carbon from oxygen. And there you go, you have oxygen. You'll never run out of oxygen. You just gotta get rid of the carbon. Okay. I wanna find a black hole. We're gonna find a black hole. I don't know where the closest black hole is. Would it be the center of our galaxy? Why not? Let's go to the center of our galaxy. We're gonna go find that pesky black hole. Right at the center, where is the center of our galaxy? I'm gonna guess it's right there. Let's head towards that center. Let's see what velocity it takes for this to start even looking like it's getting remotely closer. Okay, we're going at 1.11 light years per second. We can go faster, whoa. Suddenly that just changed into perspective. I saw that it shifted. It's like it, it, like it just loaded the galaxy or something. Oh yeah, look at that. I guess the game is just like has its way of working where some things will load when it comes time. It's like, oh crap, he's going fast enough where it needs to look like it's moving. But not quite. Wait, nope. It does have to look like it's moving. Okay. The game is cleverly programmed where everything seems like it's seamless. I mean, you can see the loading thing right here. It's constantly loading things, but it, it just appears seamless. Which is awesome. <laughs> just, I love the scale of this game. Where would the center of the galaxy be? It would be in the center where all the light is. Lots of radiation, we would not be able to survive here at all. Uh, so whereabouts in the center would it be? I'm assuming it would be in about the center center. Oh my god. And that's the thing about the, uh, this, 
the center of the galaxy is there are, it's a lot denser with stars just look at all this okay so i'm going oh i was going to like kill light years per second look at all the stars that are in here like is this is this just like the sheer amount of radiation at the center of the galaxy but space isn't even black anymore it's just yellow it's bright it's just a weird concept to me it's like, oh, we just discovered something. It's like we are getting a new item in Zelda. Let's just find Sagittarius. I, I want to stumble upon it, though. It's so much more fun to me if I'm doing like the actual exploring aspect. This is disappointing. It's like I showed up for a date or something and I got stood up. I flew all the way to the center and you're not even here. How dare you? Go to Sagittarius A. Oh, it was in the... Oh. It was the cluster. It was that cluster that we saw. Oh, and there's a star right here next to the black hole. Really? Hello? Are you the closest star? You are the winner of the, the, the black hole proximity contest that I just thought of right now. You are star S2. Damn, wait, S2. Is there a star S1? The first star, the main star of the galaxy, the star of the show. Or maybe the star of the show is getting sucked up right now. You are a bright star. I mean, I have the realistic brightness on. Slow down, slow down. I'd like to, I'd like to see you with my own eyes. With my own eyes. I don't know why I'm focusing on the star. There is a black hole sitting right here. How far away is Sagittarius A, by the way, just from here? 438 astronomical units. This gives you a scale of how big this thing is. That is, I'm pretty sure, bigger than our solar system. Okay, and then you can't even see the black hole. It's just that bright. Wow. <laughs> We're still 82 astronomical units away. This the diameter of this thing is ridiculous. So there's uh, that. What do you call that? It's a. I don't. Acre. It starts with an A. Is something disc like acre? I keep wanting to say accreditation disc, but no, it's not accreditation. It's. Something just- Ooh, there's the warping! It's the what do you call it? Gravitational lensing? I see the darkness. We are getting to that event horizon. So we're just, you know, casually about to get- Oh my god. <laughs> How much am I aging? Oh, I'm just gonna- I just, I just want to dip one toe. I just want to dip one little toe. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> what if we uh, just pretend like we're like a minivan and we're just backing up, backing up? Oh, uh, uh, eh, 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 eh. Um, um, um. Uh, speed up, speed up. And I totally am trying to escape a black hole. And I can't. I think I did it. I got out of the black hole because I can go faster than the speed of light. I'm amazing. <laughs> that that took a while for me to get out. And I was going at like over a hundred times the speed of light. And it was just like going very, very slow. Going very, very slow. Can I possibly make my way out? Damn. Well, I just went into a black hole and that was uh, quickly the abyss. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, uh, if you don't know, if you don't know, it's like a gravity. It's caused by, like, warping in the fabric of space. You know, relativity, Einstein. Uh, just take a blanket and then drop a, a bowling ball on there, and then suddenly the blanket moves downwards. Just pretend like a blanket. It's like the fabric of space. Except the black hole doesn't really just make it curved like that. It more so just makes it, like... Like a big tornado down into the fabric of space. It's just like, woo! It's like dividing by zero. It's uh, the way a graph would look. It's called an asymptote. It's like dividing by zero. It's like if it, any, anywhere where like an answer a zero cannot possibly be part of a function, uh, it'll start diverging downwards or it'll diverge upwards. I think usually downwards. I'd, either way, it'll go up to either infinity or it'll go down to negative infinity. That's basically what it's doing to uh, the, the fabric of space. This is what happens when you divide by zero. You get things like the black holes. Oh God, I just went back in. Hold on here, hold on out here. Uh, this is like real time as well. What if we speed up time? This thing will start spinning. Ooh. 
It's just spinning, spinning, spinning. It's gonna go out of control eventually. Oh! That star. Oh, they're all orbiting. Oh my god. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, this is cool. Look at them, they're all moving. Is one of them just gonna hit? I'd like to witness a supernova. One of you just crash into each other, please. I don't care. I don't care if you have civilizations. I, I I can sacrifice an entire civilization for a light show. This music is epic, by the way. <laughs> it's like. I want to go to this green place. This green place is bright as hell, and I want to go to it. Oh yeah. What is this place? This place is Galaxy RG something something something. Very, very, very big galaxy. Holy crap. Oh, there's a cluster right here. Is there a... happen to be a black hole? You know, right in the middle? It's a bright black hole. That's much brighter. Slow it down, slow it down. Okay. Let's take a peek inside this mysterious black hole in a mysteriously large galaxy with many stars nearby. Just gonna take a little peek, that's all, and you know, just watch the light bend and all that jazz and <laughs> I'd like to just scoot on by. It's like I just kind of get deflected out. It's like I just scoot on by and then get deflected. Scoot on by and get deflected. That's really, it actually seems like it's hard to go past the event horizon. I just kind of shoot out the other side a little bit. Unless I stare. Directly at it going in And then we're just gonna get sucked up pretty damn fast. I don't want to stay here forever Uh-uh Uh-uh not at all so so this is what it's like to be inside of a black hole It's just looking at it's almost just like looking at the entire universe and then inside the black hole It's just a whole lot of nothing. It's like it's uh, Mary Poppins bag or something or I think Mary Poppins had a bag like that and now we're falling, 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 and actually the slower we go, it seems like the quicker we fall now. It's like, things are just getting warped more and more and more, so much quicker, so much quicker, and then you fall into the abyss. And then you can never come back. Very exciting. Oh, look at it, it's a little pinhole now. It's, it's just a universe of one star. Mm -hmm. But, we are superheroes, we can... Jesus Christ, we can just shoot out like that. Okay. I'm gonna take the plunge. This is it. I'm gonna be Matthew McConaughey. No regrets. I'm going in. It's necessary. We're just going to not even look back. We're going straight into the black hole at many, many light years per second. <sighs> I like this music. This is very nice music. Are we here? Are we waiting? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! This is the surface of the. What the? Get okay. Can I get away from the star, please? Please, it's a little hot. It's a little, little hot. Why did I have to go to the surface? Okay. Well, that I'm assuming is the black hole. That looks pretty damn bright. All right. Take two. Being Mark Watney. Being Matthew McConaughey. We can be Mark Watney, we'll survive on a black hole. I don't know what's of like this field of view issue I have. I just get in the same field of view for some reason. Okay, right, we're going in. Pretty, pretty slow. No regrets. It's been nice knowing you. was created 14 something uh, some odd billion years ago uh, so that distance the equivalence of that distance the light from the Big Bang would just now be approaching us but when you think from the perspective of that exact point in